While the MacBook Air is Apple's best-selling computer, there's a glaring issue for people who want to get a lot of work done on the laptop. No, it's not the laptop's lack of a real heatsink on the CPU. It's the limit to just one external display. Let's fix that. This limit to one external monitor is a glaring omission on the MacBook Air and even the MacBook Pro with the base M1 or M2 chips. Each step up on the CPU you go from there is able to support more displays, but this isn't because the lower level chips aren't powerful enough to drive more. They're more than powerful enough. If you go to Apple's support page about connecting external displays to your Mac, they're very clear, stating that using docks or daisy chaining devices doesn't increase the number of displays you can connect. Luckily for us, that's not entirely true. With the right USB-C or Thunderbolt display adapter and a third-party driver, you can go beyond the one external display limit of M1 and M2 chips. Hyper has a product that does just that. Their dual 4K HDMI adapter has two HDMI ports that support 4K to drive extra displays. If all you want is the ability to connect two displays, the basic 3-in-1 adapter that has just two HDMI ports and 100 watt power delivery will be perfect. With the MacBook Air having just two ports though, you may want more options given that you're taking up half the Thunderbolt ports. For that, Hyper has a 10-in-1 variety of the dual HDMI hub. In addition to the HDMI ports, it includes a USB-C power delivery port for pass-through charging, a gigabit ethernet port, two USB-A ports, a USB-C port, a headphone and microphone combo jack, a micro SD card slot, and a full-size SD card slot. That's the hub I have here, so let's give it a try to see how it works. Getting everything going is really simple. Just connect the hub to your laptop. If you're still running the previous version of macOS, you can just open the drive that pops up called Hyper Display and then run the macOS Instant View application, using that app to choose whether you want the external displays to mirror or extend your main display. It's this third-party driver that allows the second external display to run when the laptop doesn't natively support it. If you updated your computer to Ventura, you'll have to head over to their listing for the dual HDMI adapter where they have some more instructions. Attempting to open the Instant View file on Ventura shows it as damaged, so you have to download the latest copy of the driver from the link to Silicon Motion's website. Once it's downloaded, just open it and drag the macOS Instant View icon to your applications. You'll need to allow the app to record your screen in order to mirror displays. With the displays connected and the app running, the connected monitors work just like native displays would. You can adjust scaling and resolution in your normal display settings, rearrange them how you want, and adjust color profiles. It's just about a perfect solution to leave on your desk with your displays, power, and network connected to. Then you just plug in one cable for all your connectivity. There is a potential downside though, and that's thanks to the limited overall bandwidth for the device. If you have your first display connected, running at 4K60, and have another display connected as well, that one will be limited to just 30 hertz. While most people don't think too much about frame rate on an everyday basis, and in video, 30 frames per second is just fine, it's far more noticeable in a desktop environment where you're regularly interacting with elements on screen, making for a more choppy experience. Overall, this isn't a big deal though. If your second monitor is 1440p or 1080p, you can increase the refresh rate to match the rest of your screens. Additionally, as long as you make sure your primary monitor is the one running at the higher refresh rate, the difference will be far less noticeable. My own need to make use of the hub has been diminished as I've updated to the M2 Pro MacBook Pro, which does support two external displays natively and much higher refresh rates and resolutions thanks to its HDMI 2.1 port. But if you're rocking an M1 or M2 MacBook Air, or even the 13-inch MacBook Pro, and think you could make use of some extra screen real estate, Hyper's HDMI hub is a great way to do it. Hyper's adapter and the Silicon Motion driver aren't the only workaround for multiple displays though. Synaptic offers a similar display link driver that you can get, and there are similar devices from the likes of OWC, but I haven't gone hands-on with those, and Hyper's solution works well for me. The metal finish on Hyper's hub looks great on my desk, matching the finish of my MacBook Pro, and it's available with a wide array of connectivity that you can select to fit your needs. I've always got a USB-A port on hand now, and the SD card slots are especially handy. My biggest complaint would have to be the fixed cable. While the long-term wear is worth thinking about, it probably wouldn't become an issue for a few years of use. I would, however, like to be able to plug in a different USB-C cable to have more flexibility with where I choose to position the hub on my desk. 
All in all though, the Hub is a really handy addition to make your existing laptop a more capable machine. The more basic adapter with two HDMI ports and the 100 watt power delivery runs $129. The more full featured 10 in one Hub I have here is currently on sale for $179. You can get them on Hyper's website or over on Amazon through the links down in the video description. If you liked this video, consider leaving a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel for more from 9to5Mac.